Hi guys, it's Father's Daughter, and I am here for a lesson on mockers and scoffers. Um, I hope everyone's doing well, and I just pray that everyone receives um, something good off of this message. Okay, so 2 Peter 3 says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. And I got a lot of notes here, so I'm going to be flipping back and forth. Alright, 2 Timothy 3, 1-5 through 5 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Okay, then I have Proverbs 19.29, and it says, Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Proverbs 18, 6 through 7 says, A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Proverbs 13, 1 says, A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. Proverbs, that was Proverbs 13, 1. Okay. What does it mean to mock? It means to insult, to ridicule, to humiliate, to treat with contempt, to deride, to frustrate, hope. Okay. To disappoint on purpose, to express scorn, contempt, disdain, or tension, to treat in sincerity, to treat in a pretentious manner, to deceive, to defy. Mockers are rebellious and disobedient. Mockers manifest the spirit of Jezebel. Mockers are killers of hope and futures. They are pretentious and crafty. Mockers are even on the lookout for your unguarded hour to strike. Mockers can play along with you for years, only to strike when you least expect it. They use negative words to pull you down. Mockers have poisonous tongues, and you can read that in Romans 3, 13 through 18. Mockers are wasters of destinies, spoilers of glory, and emptier of resources. Mockers are dream killers, vision quenchers, and purpose extinguishers. Mockers um, nail people's potentials and turn those that should be victors in life into victims. Mockers kill manifestations and render victims useless. Mockers threaten people with fear to hinder manifestation. Mockers give bad reports and manifest lies. Mockers use propaganda and scandals to ensure failure. Mockers are agents of distractions to derail one's focus. Mockers are arch enemies of your efforts. Mockers are saboteurs. They are enemies of progress. And mockers are pretenders and masters of eye service. Okay. So that's the negative part of my lesson for you. Um... Sorry, let me flip through here real quickly, and I hope that this holds out. Okay, so then we're going to go to Matthew 5. Okay, sorry about that. Matthew 5, 3, and we're going to read. This is the red letters where Jesus is talking, okay? Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men um, shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yea, are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Yea, are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot hide? Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light shine, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, which is in, well, glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Okay. So that is, that should give you a lot of joy and um, should be very encouraging to you because that should have been the opposite of the mockers and scoffers. Um, also, um, I just wanted to say this, um, you know, religion says that we um, need to be perfect, need to strive to be perfect. That's what it says. But through Jesus, we are made new, not perfect. Um, the church is not a museum for perfect pe people, and we are all broken somehow, striving to be like Jesus, carrying our cross. Religion is something you do every day, like drink coffee, eat, um, little patterns that we do every day. Religion says we can't step out of line, but Jesus says he will never forsake us and never leave us. Okay, and this is for the people that have been um, stuck in like a bad church or something where you just feel like you have to like sit on the little border lines or whatever and you just can't do anything. You're saved, okay? If you're saved, you're blessed, okay? You're, you're going to go to heaven and I'm going to encourage you to get saved today. Um, God's mercies are new every morning. But yes, if we sin intentionally and we know that we've sinned, then we need to repent. And also every day we should put on the full armor of God. The full um, full armor of God, we need to have our, our double-edged sword, which is our Bible, and we need to read it a little bit every day. Even if it's just like one verse, read every day. Stick with the Lord. Look and believe in Jesus. He's coming very soon. There's a lot of things going on right now, and I just wanted to get on here and encourage you guys. I love you guys. Um, I hope this brought something to you today, and I'm praying for you guys. All of my subscribers, I pray for you guys, okay, every day. So, um, at least you got one person praying for you, <laughs> okay? I love you guys. I hope you have a really, really good day. All right.